Um, so we have a busway, and this busway is supposed to feed these uh, eight, nine motors. Can you guys see that these are nine, nine motors? Nine motors, and I'm supposed to feed this busway from nine motors. Okay? <clears throat> and I need a busway system that can feed these nine motors. To size the busway system, let me draw the busway, my friends. Here's my busway. I need, in the busway itself, I need one section where I can have the overcome friction device, and the rest of these is going to be cover. All these are cover, guys. Cover. So, I want first, I want first, guys, number one, to size. Where's my, did you steal my highlighter marker? First of all, I need to size the busway. Number one, I need to size the busway. Number two, I need to size the overcap friction device for that busway. <clears throat> and let's um, let's do it this way, guys. Let's make it a plug-in. This is a plug-in busway, basically a plug-in busway. So all these are loads. Can you guys see that? Just to give you a visualization of my busway, plug-in busway. This one also going in the other direction chair to be consistent. Busway. <clears throat> and I need to change uh, size over temptation device. First the busway. Over temptation device. And also I want to stretch this one, guys. Stretch this one. Take it all the way to a panel. Take it all the way to a panel. And this is my main panel. There's multiple things here. So this is my panel that's going to be feeding this busway. And I need to size the overcome texture device, and number three is the cable, number three. And also the overcome texture device can be can be either here, guys, or here. So I'm going to pause. These are the two. Can you guys see? So I can put my overcome texture device here or here. Most of the time, your overcome texture device is going to be really here. Let me repeat myself. I have a panel. I have an overcome texture device in the panel. I brought feeders, conductors, up to one point. And then I tie the conductors into the plug-in busways. And this is where I plug all my machines. <clears throat> and in this case, I have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's add the ninth one. I need to find size the busway, size the overcam texture device, and size the cable. They're bringing the conductors to the busway. Now, Brad, you can bring the whole busway and feed it directly from from the panel, and then you don't need a conductors to bring the power to the busway. Plug-in busways, guys, mostly, most of plug-in busways, they go just into the manufacturing floor, and at the end, they have a J-box, where you bring cables with a conduit, tie it to the J-box, junction box, and feed that busway. You don't extend the plug-in busway all the way to, to the panel. It doesn't make sense. And you know what? I want you to do it the right way from the get-go. Can you guys do me a, a little favor here and erase this? Just erase the overcome picture device and make a termination here instead of that. Because that's what we normally do, guys. We terminate them right in here. Just a termination box. The overcome picture device, really, we put it right in the panel. So you guys do this little change. We usually, Normally, we don't put a disconnect right to them. You can if you want to. But you have a termination box, you bring the power to a conductor all the way in. <clears throat> okay, the second thing I'm gonna, I want you guys to size is my conduit. This is my conduit that's bringing these conductors. So I'm gonna call this one DJ, I'm gonna call this one number four. <clears throat> number four, and to make things interesting. I want you guys also to bring an equipment grounding conductor. This is ground, and I'm bringing an equipment grounding conductor and tying it to the frame. And this is DJ, is called number five. 
That's it. Five things. Let me repeat myself, guys. The first thing we need to size the bus with plug-in bus weight cell. What size? Number two, I need to size the overcome protection device that protect the bus weight. And number three, my friends, I need to size the conductor that's feeding the plug-in bus weight. Number four, the conduit that brings the conductor to the bus weight. Isn't that what we do? And the equipment grounding conductor, if any, if any, because if you use bread, if you use rigid or EMT, you don't need to bring the equipment grounding conductor. But say we're using PVC and we're going to bring an equipment grounding conductor with it. How do we size it? Any question, guys? The only thing that you need to know from your friend <clears throat> Chad is the voltage system for this busway. What's the voltage system for this busway? Let's use typical American well respected voltage called 480-277 three phase. So that's my voltage system. All these motors are running at 480-277 three phase. Any question guys about the given? This is very typical Brooks of what you guys have in your project. And we're gonna size the bus way. We're gonna size the bus way. I want you guys to go to 3.13. And uh, this right the you need protection when you step down to your plugins. Yes, right here with the disconnect down to the motor. Yep, you need a oh, little protection. How about further upstream at the um, here? <clears throat> See that those weren't conductors, but it was uh, a busway coming out of your switch here. Okay. okay. Then you, and then you go to plugins. Yeah. Okay. So you need something right there. At the if if you bring the busway to the panel, you still need an overcome protection device. With a plug-in, always have an overcome protection device in there. So each one of these uh -huh, at the motor, but how about for the plug-in itself, the whole length it's in of the it, panel. where you transition at to to a plug-in. No, no, come, come. Yeah, here? right there, right in there. For no. each one, don't you? No. Okay. You don't need it. Okay. You don't need it. Just a J box. Like that. If you're coming off a, a big busway, right? And you start slamming in some plugins. Yeah, but the plugin, right in the plugin, okay. Spencer. I'm just, I'm no, no, you have a I point. I needed it at the, at the transition point. Here's my fuse. Look like that they do. They have their fuse here. And then here's the motor. Like, it's like a big heater. What they do, what they do, guys, they have a disconnect with a fuse here, and they have an SO cord tied to the machine. And a fuse with a disconnect, SO cord tied to the second, and the third, and the fourth. So the motors have their own overcompetition device and disconnect separate from the uh, busway. Mm -hmm. We're just interested in the busway. And you guys know how to do that. This is really easy. Size the fuse for a motor, exactly the same with a disconnect, <laughs> which we're going to be doing in a second. Not, not today, but. Any question, guys? So please do me a favor. Go, guys, to page 3.13. If you guys are looking at 3.13, it has the standard the standard busway or bus ducts, the standard busway, single phase and three phase. And I will bring to your attention, guys, if you have them, the 3.13, you can go, the smallest that you can buy plug-in is 225. So, um, Spencer, my friend, if your load is 100 amp, the smallest they're going to buy as a plug-in busway is 225. So 200, can you guys see that? 225, 400, 600, 800, 1,000, all the way to 5,000. Everybody can see this? Everybody can see this? Okay. Let's go ahead and size. Remind me, guys, what we, what we are doing in, in terms of... Let's go size the busway. Everybody can see what we're doing? Everybody can see what we're doing? Three thirteen. Okay, so let's go ahead, guys, and do number one. Number one, Mr. Bab. Number one is bus way size. Here's what I would do for the bus way size, guys. Take the sixty horsepower. Take this one to table. 
v uh, 430.230.250 under 480 volt and if you guys go there you're going to find 77 amps and you need to multiply it by what? Five. Why five? five I have five of them. This is the first type of load that you have. The second type of load my friend that we have is three three um, 750 I have this is six this is for the 60 of three this is 75 horsepower the same table if you guys go there um, if you go there you're going to find 96 amps multiplied by three and Holly why do we multiply by three again the binder it's three of them then you take the 200 200 horsepower can you guys look at these and tell me which one is the largest motor here among all these motors? The 200, right? Because of the 200, I have, I want to multiply it. I have 240 multiplied by 1, but I need to multiply it by 1.25. Everybody knows why one, this is largest. Largest. Remember how when we size guys? We take the largest motor, we multiply it by 1.25. That's how we did the largest motor multiplied by 1.25. Any question about this? Any question? Again, these are all three phase. Everybody knows that they're three phase. All of them are three phase. So, if you guys add them up, you're going to end up with 9. If I did my math right, you end up with 973. This is all add up, right? Everybody knows what I'm doing here. Multiply them and add them up. Add them up. You're going to end up with 973 amps. 973 amps worth of juice. Worth of juice. Brooks, this is where you're going to say, do I need future expansion, Chad? Maybe I should put 10%. In this case, we're not saying anything about future expansion. But you stand there and you say, okay, what should I put some future expansion on it or not? Okay? Yes, sir. What is the 1.25? 1.25 is for continuous load. This is for largest motor, which is continuous load. Remember how when we size guys for motors, we take the largest motor multiplied by 1.25 plus all the other motors. Nine, nine, seven, three, Mr. You take 973 amps. Now this is going to be Dewalt. You're going to take it to Dewalt 312 or 313. If you guys go to Dewalt 313, I believe. If you guys take it to Dewalt 313, what's your next standard plug-in busway? A thousand. Thank you. So we hit a jackpot here. Look at that. We're very close. 1,000 amps. 1,000. <clears> so the size of my plug-in busway is 1,000. Spencer, do you see where we got the 1,000 from Dewalt? Three, yeah, you good? Okay. Because the code doesn't talk about busway sizes, guys. The article that talk about busways, guys, three, 360. 360. Oops, why did it went all the way? 368. And if you guys go there, it will tell you to size them basically exactly like like we're what we're doing. 1,000. Any question guys about the busway, the plug-in busway? Now here's my question for Ben. Would it be would it make any difference had this been a feeder busway, which is not a plug-in? Same calculation. It doesn't matter if it's a feeder busway, a plug-in busway, or a trolley busway, guys. Trolley busway is you just move the load. A uh, plug-in busway have a lot of places to plug in. A feeder busway, it goes from point A here to point B there, 300 feet without anything to plug in. Just feeder, taking power, big chunk of power from point A here, 300 feet, point B, in bus and, and cover buses. The same sizing. Doesn't matter if it's a plug-in busways and, or, a, or a, it's a busway sizing. Any question about this? May I move to the next page? Okay, what's number two? Number two. Over current protection device for busway. Over current protection device for the busway, right? Over current protection device for the busway, my friend. 
Um, we have nine seven three. We have nine seven three amps. The same calculation, guys. Take this time to N E C two four dot six. What's the next standard overcome detection device? A thousand. One thousand amps. Here's my question for you. If this calculation came up with 600, you put a 600. Your bus way, guys, will be 1,000, but your overcome detection device is 600. Now, judgment. Should I make the overcome detection device match the bus way? It's a good idea if they're close. If they're close. If, the, if you're at 900, the bus way, the overcome detection device is 900, and the bus way is 1,000. It's a good idea to make them the same. But if you're sitting at 800 and 1,000, you might have to stick with the 800 over temptation device, if any. So always size based on 240.6. In the code, in the test, guys, you're going to size exactly what, what I showed you. Number two, number three. What was number three? BJ. Okay. Bus way. Bus way. Feeders. Everybody knows what we talk about busway feeders, guys? We're talking about busway feeders when we bring uh, feeders to a busway. We're going to size the busway feeders. Busway feeders. Here's how I do it I say match over current protection device. Okay, I have a thousand. I have a thousand divided by three. Why three? I decided to. What did I carry by three here? Yeah, so that will give you three, three, three amps. I divide it by three because it keeps me below the 360 amps, guys. And then three sets, take it all the way to table three, 10.16 under 75 degree column. And that will get you how many conductors? Three conductors and 500? 400? 400. 400. KC amount. That's what I came up with. Yep, 400 KC amount. And please don't forget that there are three sets of. So don't forget the answer should be three sets of T H H N. This is your complete answer. Should be three sets of three conductors, 400 KC amount each, and the insulation is T H H N. As a designer, guys, it's not enough just to say 500 KCM. 500 KCM, you're going to be buying this. You're going to be installing it. What type of insulation? What type of insulation? Material is a big deal. When you graduate for, or from here, guys, you, now you're, you're going to graduate in a couple of weeks. You're going to be writing on your spec and your specification the, the size and the type and the conduit type and the conduit size. Everything is material exactly how we install it. Somebody's going to ask me about the neutral. What happened to the neutral, Chad? Most of these don't need a neutral. Here's what you need to understand about busways, guys. 99% of the time, you don't need a neutral for busways. But, so you have to decide. If you want to pull a neutral, if you want to pull a neutral in the busway, guys, so it allows you, if you pull a neutral, what, what happens if you, for, you, can, you can feed 277 from the busway, which is a good idea. You might be able to feed the light, actually, from the busway. Plug in with the light. So let's decide it. I decided, guys, I told you at the beginning here, um, I need I need 480-277, meaning I need a neutral. So this is a decision that you have. Do you need a neutral or not? You're going to find a lot of application, Brad. You don't need a neutral. Don't even pull a neutral. But we decided to pull a neutral. So here's my neutral. Neutral. For neutral, guys, I would do the same thing. I would take the 1,000 amp. The first 200, leave him alone. <laughs> Anything higher than 200, which is 1,000 minus 200, cut them what, by what? 0. 0.8, uh, 0. 0.7. And that'll give you 900, no? 900 amps. Right? No. What did they do here? No, it didn't. Anybody care? What is that? Seven? Seven, six, seven, seven, six, 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 zero. I'm glad that you guys are awake. Um, so, now I don't have any option. I have to divide by three because I parallel three. So I take 760 divided by three. Anybody? I didn't do the neutral here. What's the 
How much? Two fifty uh, M. Two fifty M. Was two fifty three, but two fifty is also. Two fifty three is good. Let's just use the two fifty three. Two fifty three M. Take this one to table three ten dot sixteen under seventy five degree column. That will give me one conductor size, please. Two fifty. Thank you. 250 K C and M and T H H N and please don't forget that we're gonna have we're gonna write here 11 sets oh it's not 11 words are you kidding me Chad uh, three sets three sets of so this is what your answer should be three sets of three sets of one conductor 250 K C M T H H N any question guys about this? Any question? Like we size the panels, like we size the generators. Any questions? Any questions? Let's go size the conduit. You guys can go start with the conduits. Let's use, this is in the ceiling, most likely EMP would be great. Let's use an EMP. It's going to be in the ceiling. One minute? Okay, yeah. Mr. Bear. They keep looking at me and say, go faster, Mr. Bear, and I want to yell at them, but I can't. Go ahead. Do we have an AGC in this conduit? Let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah. Yeah, but I like I like if it's EMP guys you don't bring it. But I really like just to get you into how to size a heavy beam a PVC. Most likely it's gonna be EMP. Most likely you don't need it. If you need it, this is how we size it. Yeah, good. Yeah, Muhammad, my friend. Yeah. Hey DJ. Yeah. Good. Okay, number four. What's uh, number four, DJ? No. I mean, uh, conduit. Conduit. Size. For conduit size, guys, I have three conductors. Number, what was the number of the conductors? 400, 400 kcm, and one conductor number, what was the neutral again? 250. 250 kcm. Don't forget that they are T, H, H, and N. T, H, H, and N. Take these two guys. They're going to go to chapter 9. Table number five. Okay, let's do the math for them. So I have three times what? 0. 0.586. Oh, I should put them somewhere else. Oh, Chad. Okay, let me do this. This is chapter nine, table number five. Uh, one more time, please, Fred. Three times. Point five eight six. Point five eight six three six three, and one times. Point three nine seven and a zero. Add them up. I didn't do this step with me. Did you guys come up with? Two point one five five. Two point one five five square inch, mm -hmm. and then. You're going to take the 2.155 square inch, take it to chapter 9, table number 4 this time, and we're looking at EMT. EMT. What size? Two and a half inch. Two and a half inch. 2.5 inch EMT. EMT. So, just to visualize is how many three conduits, right? Here's your conduits. These are going to be EMT. I'm going to show this is EMT. What is it? Two and a half, two point five inches. And inside it, it's going to be a one and a two and a three and a neutral. Hopefully, that will visualize it. So you have, we're paralleling three conduct, three conduits, three conduits, right? Is that what we did? Yeah, we did three conduits. Two and a half inch EMT, typical for all three, and we have three conductors, the same size, phases, and one conductor in neutral. 
Now I'm going to add one more conductor as a ground, equivalent kind of conductor. So let me just, um, if you guys don't mind me saying that, this conductor here will be actually this, and these three conductors here will be actually these. And I want to add another conductor. I'm going to call this one here equivalent ground. Oh, now that will screw up my calculation. Hmm. Should have done that first, huh? Uh, that's Ryan's question on the last one. Why that was number seven check? <laughs> equipment grounding <laughs> conductor. Well, it's an EMT. We don't need an equipment grounding conductor. <laughs> okay. I'm going to equipment grounding conductor. If, if it's there, guys, what, what would you do? You just go add it. In. It's in the conduit. Make it insulated. Just add another conductor, one based on the size I'm going to come up with. I'm going to write here this paper if needed. <laughs> if needed, uh, resize. Resize conduit. Conduit. So the guys on YouTube, when they see it, they don't see that guy's a knucklehead. If needed, resize the conduit. You can just size that by one of your classes. Uh, well, we're going to size it. We're going to size. We're going to find the size. The equipment got conductor size in a second. Okay. What is five? What's five, my friends? Five is the equipment got conductor, and the last thing we're going to find. Okay. So, we size the conduit. We don't need an equipment got conductor, Jim, my friend, because it's it's a um, EMT. And Camille, my friend, if it's an EMT, you don't need it. <sighs> and Chanel, right? You don't need an equipment grounding conductor if your conduit is non-flexible metallic. Non-flexible metallic is the word for it. If it's flexible and metallic, you need it. If it's non-metallic, you need it. If it's non-flexible metallic, EMT, rigid, uh, intermediate, these are the three that basically are. Uh, different type of rigid. There's different type of rigid. Brass and red and copper and all this good stuff. All right, let's go. What let's go. I, what I bring here? Not required. Because uh, not required because the conduit is metallic. Uh, actually, the conduit is non-flexible metallic. Non-flexible metallic. That's a technical term for it. Non-flexible metallic. Any question, my friends? Any questions? Okay, let's go to number five. Number five, my friends. Number five. Equipment. Equipment grounding. Conductor. <coughs> conductor. That sounds like equipment ground conductor. Equipment grounding conductor. DJ, my friend, to the end, what what was the overcurrent kind of friction device? Thousand. A thousand. You take the one thousand amp. You take this one to table two fifty dot. What? When we size the equipment ground conductor, we go to two fifty dot. One twenty-two. One twenty-two. One twenty-two. And based on this, guys, what's the equivalent of conductor size? Two watt. Two watt. How many? One. One conductor. Uh, two watt A W G. How many conductors again? One. How many conductors again? One. When we no, when we parallel, what do we do, guys? When we parallel, we run one with every set by two. When you parallel. You have to run with one with every set. So in this case, we need three. We need three. Please write yourself a note. Three. Why three conductors? Because we need, we need guys, we're paralleling three sets. By the code, you need to run the same size of equipment guard conductor with every conduit. With every conduit. And we don't parallel the equipment guard conductor. It's, we don't cut it by three when we size. We go exactly based on our overconfliction device and we run it with every single conduit. So I need three of them. <clears throat> Any question, my friends? Any question?
One more example. Any question? Before we, I will take one more example about the busway, guys, and that will be it. And we will move later on into MCCs and, and, and other things. I will take one more example about busways, and it will be typical for everything that we do. One more example. Any question before I move to the next example? It's going to be busway. DJ? Good? Yeah. Okay. Example number two. Example number two. Example number two, my friends. I want to draw my panel here. Here's my overcap picture device. Here's my busway system, my junction. We're going to split the phases here and the neutral and all this good stuff. Here's where my termination box. I'm going to use my conduit this way this time. Always conduit. And I'm going to find, here's my overconnection device for this system. Oops. My overcome fiction device. Overcome fiction device, my friends. And there will be a lot of other things, guys, fit from this panel. A lot of other things will be fit from this panel. Okay, so like we did in every one other one, we need to find, my friends, we need to find number one. We need to find number two. We need to find the conductor, I think, was number three. This time we're going to be smart, Ryan. And since we're going to bring in the equipment ground conductor, we're going to size the equipment ground conductor first. So I'm going to bring an equipment grounding mm -hmm. conductor here. Yeah. 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 And number uh, four. And then my conduit is going to be number five. OK? Everybody see guys what we're doing? We're bringing the equipment. This guy is coming as, as a matter of fact from a ground. The red one is the equipment grounding conductor. The green is the conduit. The black is the phases. Any question guys about this? This is what my system is. I need to size a plug-in busway. Plug-in busway. Plug-in busway, plug-in busway, or a feeder busway, no problem. We need the load and the voltage. I will tell you guys the voltage is 208, 208 slash 120 volt, V phase. And the loads, I'm going to put the loads in the next page because I'm going to do the calculation on them. So this is basically what the system is, and I need to size the uh, plug-in bus. I'll show you the loads in a second when I put them. I'm going to write them at one step. Next page for loads. Any question, guys? Can I move on? Running out of gas here. It's not, it's not Friday, man. <laughs> We have to make up for Friday. Okay. Let's go to the following loads. Loads. Here's the loads, guys. I have 10 conductors, uh, 10 motors. Each one of them is the 10 horsepower. Um, and I also have 10 motors. I have seven 
motors, each one of them is 50 horsepower. I have three motors, each one of them is 40 horsepower. And I have, um, so that's basically what I have. 15, um, and let's just say I have uh, 10, 7, 3, well, let's say I have another 4 that's actually sitting at 7.5 horsepower. I have another 2 that are sitting at 5 horsepower. This, these are 20, 26 motors fit from a plug-in bus with 26 of them. Now, DJ, if I give it to you in a KVA, what would you do? You convert it into amps and you do the same step. If I give it to you in a KVA, guys, you convert it into amps and you do the same step. Which one is the largest motor based on what I gave you guys? Everybody can see that this is my largest motor. Really, this step is, this is my largest motor. Let's go find the amps for all these. We're going to go to um, table four. 30.250. You guys go to table 430.250. All of them are 28. All of them are 28. All of them are 28. I have 10 times 10. Everybody knows where the 10 times 10 came to be? Let's use a, use a blue here. So I have 10 times 10. Anybody disagree with that? 10 times 10? 10? 10 times 10 and not, not 10 times 30.8. 10 times 30.8. 30.8, <laughs> because Chad looked at the wrong one. That's why. Um, so 10, the full load current guys for 10 is 30.8. The 7, I have 7 times uh, 4, 6.2. Right, Brad? Mm -hmm. It was on track, man. Okay, the 40. The 40 guys, I have 140, and how many of them I have? I need to do a, a few calculations for this one, guys. Here's what you need to do. First, I need the three. You need to take the three, multiply it by 114. Thank you, my friend, 114. But I want to add, I want you guys to remember. Um, yes, you're going to add point. Two five times one of them two, one one four. Okay. Oops. Okay, that all looks like that looks like something that could be confusing. All right. Plus point two five times one one four. Okay. Everybody, guys, is probably confused. What the heck is you doing here, Chad? You take you take the three, the largest motor, one of the largest motors, and up it by twenty five percent. You can do it in so many ways, guys. The easiest way I think is to take the three of them multiply by one fourteen. That will account for all of them, and then you take one of them and up it by twenty five percent. It's not going to make a big difference in the scheme of things, and I I always say if you ignored it from a design point of view, it wouldn't even make a difference. But let's just be consistent and put point two five times one fourteen. Okay, um, the second two I need somebody to give me because uh, what's the second four times, Brad, what's uh, 7.5? 24.2, thank you. And two times, what's the five horsepower? 16. 60? 16. 16. 16.7. Thank you, gentlemen. And I need somebody to add them up for me. 15.7. I need somebody. 15.01. Thank you. Anybody dare to disagree with my friend Brad? 16 or 15? Did you say 15? Yeah, right. 15. Yes. No. Yeah, they're assuming all the two way, three phase. You're absolutely right. The last one was uh, 480. Yeah, the last one was for 480. This one is for 28. All of them are three phase. If one of them was single phase, very good point. Can I guess have your attention if you're sleeping? Suppose that one of these babies was single phase. Did you guys hear me? Suppose one of these was single phase. That will force you to go convert it into KVA. 
if one of them was single phase guys, then you have to take these amps, multiply them by 1.7, multiply them by 2.8, and if it's single phase, Ryan, suppose this one was single phase, then you have to take 2 times 16.7 times 120. Suppose these, and then you have to take 4 times 2.4, uh, 24.2 times 208 times 1.73. If, if, if you guys have a mixture of single phase and three phase, which we rarely would do, because in a, if you guys have a, here's a, the key, key point, Ben. If you have a three phase service, you always use a three phase motors. I mean, it, 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 it defeats the purpose of having a three phase system. But if you have it, then you have to go convert them to KVA. Because, guys, a 10 amp single phase. 208 you can't add it to a 10 another 10 amp uh 120 single phase you can't add the amps unless the voltage is the same do you understand that because a 10 amp 208 three phase is much more than a 10 amp 120 single phase and also much more than a, a 10 amp 208 single phase so all right is it 15 or what, what was it 1132? Yep. 1132 amps. Thank you, my friend. Anybody disagree? 1132? Okay, so now from there, piece of cake then. You go to question number one, which um, bus way size, bus way size, 1132 amp, take it to D walt 3 13. And do we have 1200? Yes. 1,200. Do we have 1,200? 1,200. 1,200 amps. So, DJ, my friend, 1,200 amps is your size. 1,200 amps is your size. See how easy that is, Spencer, my friend? Piece of cake. When we go to uh, zero to enter, when we go to uh, table uh, 240.6. Mr. Bab, because we're not sizing over competition device, we're sizing a bus with size. So I have to, I have to buy the, the, the Dewalt. Yeah. Oh, you don't have a Dewalt? I, I it was in my bag, but should I buy them? In that Is case? that one with the one that got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could not find it. <laughs> yeah, I'll buy. It. We'll get you one, Mr. Bab. <laughs> <laughs> Holly will volunteer to give you one. <laughs> you can use you can use mine. I will get one. And actually, next year I can give it to you for free because 2011 is coming. <laughs> number one. Any question as about number one? Can I move? Okay. Number two. Number two, my friend. What was number two? Overturned protection device for the bus. And a way. Overcam fiction device, uh, remind me of the number again, Brad. 11, 1132 amps. You take this one, this is Mr. Bevo, you take it to 240.6. 240.6. And what's the next standard overcam fiction device? Huh? 1200. Good. So that's 1200 amps. I'm going to warn you guys. I'm going to warn you, You it, had this number came up with 1,600, can I put a 600 over temperature device on a 1,200 amp busway? No. So it has to be, the over temperature device guys have to be equal or less than the busway size. In this case, we had the jackpot by, by getting them the same size. Okay, number three, what was number three, my friend? Peter? What's the Peter? Peters for busway, and I hope you understand when I say feeder for busway. That's the conductors with the conduits coming, tying to one J box in the busway, the plug-in busway, guys. Okay, twelve hundred. Let's go parallel. Twelve hundred. Always shoot for something in the three hundred. So, what do you guys think we should throw here? Four. Let's say four. Did I do four here? Okay, I did four. So that would give me three hundred amps. If you guys go to table 310.16 under 75 degree column, I think you're going to, by the time you graduate, you're going to be yelling at Chad about this. That will give you three conductors and size 400 or 350. I have 350. 
350k cnm and i'm going to say four sets of uh, uh, four sets of i'm going to do the neutral just because so that's for the phase neutral neutral for the neutral guys i take the 1200 amp the same thing, the first 200, leave them alone. Uh, so that will give me 1,200 minus 200 times 0.7. So uh, 1,000, that's 900, right? 900 amps. Anybody disagree with Chad for the neutral 900? Kabila, I'm going to stick that things just to keep it here for you guys don't mind at the bottom. I don't feel like you start a new... Can I? I can do it. No, I'm, I'm saying I just don't like when you start a new one. Like, oh, like okay. One that's right. Okay, can I do it here? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's go. I have 900. And now, Mr. Bev, I have no choice but to parallel 4. What's 900 divided by 4? How much? 225. Thank you, buddy. 225 amp. Wow. Take it to table. Uh, table. 310.16 under 75 for art. Yeah. Thank you. One conductor for art. And this is not enough, so we have to say four sets of disclaimer. This is your answer. And what's the installation? Did we see the installation? Oh, shame of the chat. T H H N. What's the installation <laughs> here also? T H H N. We always have to have the installation, guys. If you just give a conductor without insulation, it's meaningless. Meaningless. Mm -hmm. Conductors are like human beings. They have to dress up before they go in public. Right? So the dress up would be the insulation. Now we're smarter, right? And we're going to size the equipment on conductor so we can size the conduit right. Let's go size the equipment ground conductor. Okay. And then that would be it for the, for today. I'll give you a homework, guys, after I'm done with that. <clears throat> Any question, my friends? Move. Thank you, my friend. Why am I still? Number four. Number four is equipment grounding conductor. Mr. Erbab, you're going to have the 1200 amp. You're going to take this one to table 250.122. What's the size? Three out. Three out. How many? Four. How many? We're paralleling? Four. Four. So it's going to be four of them. Four of them. Three out. A W G T H H N four of them. Okay. And then the last one, my friends, number five, is conduit conduit size. Four out conduit size. I doubt it you here. Holly, that's your good. Four conductors, three out. Everybody knows why we, we have four conductors, guys. We have four runs. We decided to go four runs, right? Let's go size the conduit. If you leave Dunwoody without sizing the conduit, no one how to size the conduit, we have a problem, gentlemen. So we're going to have, um, we have three conductors. Number, what was the number? Thank you, 350. 350 KCM THHN and one conductor. What was the neutral, Holly? Four. Four out. Four out. A W G T H H N. And what was the ground now? Three. Three. Thank you. Three out. And A W G. I want to insulate it. THHN. I want to fully insulate it. And gentlemen. From here, you're going to go to table chapter 9, 
under table number five. So let's go find each one of these. Anybody's there? Mm -hmm. I have three of them, Holly. Times? Point five two four two. And I have one times point three two three seven. Point three two three seven. And I have another one times point two six seven nine. Seven nine. Thank you. And when you add them up, yeah, what's that uh, when you add them up? Oh, oh we did 2.162. Thank you. And the conduit is EMT. Let's use EMT, guys. Yeah. EMT. So, gentlemen and lady, you're going to take the 2.164. That looks like a dancing four. Four, two, take it to chapter nine, table number four, E, M, and a T. So that will give me three conduits, right? Each one of them is what size again? Thank you. 2.5 E, M, T. Done. Any question, guys? I hope by spending the time, guys, with it, when you graduate, everybody knows how to size a conductor, overcome friction device, conduit, equipment magnetic conductor, grounding electrical conductor, bonding jumper. You're going to hear me, guys, repeating the same thing for MCC, repeating them for transformers later on, the same sizing. Hopefully, it sticks in. Go ahead, bud. How many did we run for? Thank you. Why didn't you guys tell me it's four? I forgot. It's a four. Thank you. So it would be the number, yeah, I think we have four conduits. Visualization, as always, Chad like to visualize. One, two, three, four. And inside each one of them, DJ, you're going to have one, and you're going to have another. These are the hots. And you're going to have uh, the three hots here, and you're going to have um, a neutral, and you're going to have also so uh, a ground, a neutral and a ground. So one, two, three, four, five. Five conductor conduit. You're going to have five conductors in a conduit. Spencer, you don't need to do the fifth conductor, the equivalent magnetic conductor, if it's an EMT. Any question, guys? Any question about that? So you bring it from the panel, terminate it in a, in a geo box, and off you go. Homework. Any question, my friends? Any questions? <clears throat> Let's do homework number four. Mm -hmm. Homework number four. Homework number four, guys, is gen sizing. For gen sizing, I will give you the sheet now. For gen sizing, here's what I want you guys to know. The load, the load equal 1,533 kVNA. So that's the size. The voltage, voltage equal, let's use 480 slash 277 volt. Um, conduits, you need to know conduits. Conduits, let's use PVC schedule <coughs> 80. What else do we need? And we need to size, we need to find everything that we did, guys, for the generator, which is how many items? Anybody remember? For generators, we did six things. Seven. So find, find seven items as an example. No, there's six. Where, where did you guys get the sixth one? 
The KV of the generator. Okay. But we need power factor if we want to change the KVA. It's already in KVA. It's already given in KVA. The KVA. Can you guys use the example that I gave you just we covered over? This is homework four. Any do are we missing anything? Homework number five before you leave. Right. Homework number five. He's gonna beat me up. <laughs> Bus way. Bus way. Bus way, guys. Uh, let's use the voltage. Um, voltage. Voltage as. 208 slash 120 volt loads my loads are going to be let's use um, 15 horsepower three of them and four of uh, I have to pick a size that's actual size the other as you can you can uh, start laughing at your friend Chad uh, Okay, sizes. Let's grab a couple of sizes that's actual sizes, guys. So I have, let's say 10, 15, 20, 25. 10, 15, 20, 25, and 50. These are the horsepower, 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 horsepower. And let's use three, four, let's use five of these and six of these. What else do we, we're missing? Conduit. Conduit. Conduit for this system, guys. Let's use um, EMT. Are we missing anything? So you need the voltage, you need the load, and you need the conduit. Insulation, if, if it's not given, it's always THHM. Let's say, so don't confuse you. Insulation. Insulation. T and an H and another H and a 1M. Any question, guys? Any question, my friends? Hopefully, that will be uh, that will be helpful. We have this in chapter one. Uh, I only get, got two chapter one, guys, so it's due Monday. These homeworks are due Monday. But I can get them today if you guys have chance. But I would concentrate on doing some uh, low voltage today if you guys have chance. This will be PDF and put in the network. Is there a bell? Cool. If everybody's okay, I like to see the, the, the one before. Okay, that's all I have, guys. Thank you. For lunch. Uh, okay. okay, thank you, Mr. Bear. May God bless you.